Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with the Crystal Crossbow mission, which I think is yet another mission in the line of those uh, special weapon missions. High concentration of new Jericho, uh, Jericho military assets uh, detected. Proceed with caution. Objective is to secure the antediluvian collection and we got our typical squad here definitely need to give uh, the guys a break but luckily in a few hours the base in antarctica uh, does have an option to regenerate stamina they get living quarters in the meantime just gotta deal with what we currently have which is yeah not not a lot can we use that in order to reload Hmm, apparently not. Luckily for us, not many of uh, the operatives have taken damage. Yeah, you can see where the spiders are slowly but surely depleting. But at the moment we're still okay, so let's deploy. Perfect, so we landed. Apparently this is going to be us versus New Jericho. And I can already see the New Jericho heavies, which means we need to spread out a little bit. Without knowing the details, my senses tells me we are up for Rolling. a lot of um, a lot of uh, these explosives. On my way. Kitsu goes back into hiding. Got a sniper over here. Operative on the move. Okay, so we're using a few points. Damn it, can't even do that. I'm on the move. Hmm. Okay, that was likely wasted. I was hoping that I can use quick aim and then overwatch for one. Learned that that is not the case. I was born ready. On my way. Okay, pretty good. Jim moves over here and we're, and we're going to deal with the guys inside in a second. Sure, how many enemies we're finding inside here? But we can start to make their life a living hell. Nice little fall damage on top of some explosion damage. Yep, very well. We 
could jump jet, but there's a chance that that won't help. Uh, that that won't work. Yep. There we go. Didn't work. We'll try again next turn. Providing Overwatch. Good. End of turn. Well, they come with a lot of technicians. Let's hope that the technicians don't have their uh, turrets here. That seems to be an assault. Couple of heavies. Sixty. Now he's dazed. And that means he really can't do anything other than shooting with his pistol, which won't help him. Careful move up. I'll get it going. Definitely careful repair. Good, we need to shred that huge vehicle. Move up. Okay, so, armor break. One of the best abilities in the entire game. More armor break. And even more armor break, because apparently the second one didn't really work well. Back into cover. I was born ready. Ready to rock. I need to deal with the sniper as well. But that armadillo is a bigger problem at the moment. Bombs online. Can't wait. Penetration. Oh. 
minus 20. Very good. And we're reloading the Fury. In my sights. Taking aim. Identifying target. Tyler deals a whooping Ready. 500 points of damage. Very nice. No mercy. I've got this. Lining up a shot. Yeah, in order to get it down, we need to spend all of our yeah. actions, unfortunately. That hurt, didn't it? Enemy still active. Homes online. over to the other side target that was important because I know how many uh, points of damage we're dealing with our could be anywhere. with our vehicles standing by Hard to imagine just how bad it is with theirs. <laughs> yep, we destroyed the sniper. That's good. You just effed up, my friend, because the only thing that kept me there was the burning.
air pistol is a bit inaccurate. These guys are busy for now. No, yes, and absolutely yes. options uh, come on uh, ready I think I got in some damage oh no not again what are we doing Okay, we're out of ammunition, that's not good. Good, that deals with, with the flanking. Fortunately, the technicians have now built up their turrets, which makes this here a bit of a problematic situation. Kill anyone over here. Don't want to cluster up too much. Little Green is in a really strong spot and he di uh, did very well. Like, opened the car here, just killed one by himself, and kept them all uh, all busy the entire time. Here. Problem is uh, the turrets will eventually grind him down. what are we doing here I thought I had to clear everything but was I wrong
Retrieve the collection. Which is where exactly? Because I'm seeing a lot of respawn. It's up here in the third floor. Okay. these guys respawning might make sense that I'm just putting a berserker right there to the entrance Sure, I mean, up here is quite dangerous. We have enough will points, we do. better cover can always jump the next round reloading So they do have return fire. Fair enough. Mm. Got enough will points to I just need the right angle. Give him a love tap and then an overwatch. Zooming in. Overwatch. All right, Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. I'm 
This is our land. And more Overwatch. Overwatch does not trigger return fire. No. A gift for New Jericho. Oh come on. Humanity. Next turn, the sniper is dead. The green is really a one man army here. He is taking so much pressure. Fumbled the jump, not good. We'll leave it uh, there for now. Good, moving over. We do have um, med packs if needed. <laughs> that really deals a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Well, the technicians currently can't see him. The green is still in a good position here. Ready, sort of. And we theoretically could land up here with him next turn and then move in. getting a little bit closer let's go did we kill the turret yep we did we sure did holding position Overwatch. Watching for All reinforcements. Set. <sighs> this guy there is a bit of a problem. Good. We're overwatching and technician. Can we heal anyone? Let's roll. Good. We're moving here. Next turn, I can repair the body part. Yeah, we should be okay. That, by the way, was a mistake to step up here.
Very nice. Um, yeah, we could shout this guy before we're doing anything here. here. Advancing. Moving up. Let me take a look. That and whilst we're at it, make try this. I'm going. And Kitsu moves back into cover. That was good. Disabled and the guy is completely taken out. It's just a turret that is left over. I think they only have two hand weapons, so as, as long as he didn't have a grenade or something. Something's broken. Yeah, he's now screaming in panic. Sorry for the many Discord messages in the background. I muted that. Okay, Tyler moves up. And let's get that turret down. End of turn. Born ready. Target missed. Sure time. Okay, that was definitely interesting. Jim seems to move from room to room. <laughs> Just kill everyone. Completely berserks in his way through the, uh, through this. Keep it together, operative. Just need the right angle. Okay, well, okay, so I need to take a small break uh, in between the last second and this one. Let's see where we left off. Got a pretty injured New Jericho technician here. We got a dying assault here, who's effectively already dead, and we got a sniper. Okay, cool. Well, on top. I uh, see more enemies are coming. Fair enough. We're beginning to move in, <clears throat> which is fine. So, now, let's use our time here. Oh, 
that is perfect. Quick aim. Jim Haxer wins. Uh, we'll take care of the enemy sniper. Let's give it a second shot instead of an overwatch. Good. Five by five. Regain some of uh, the hit points. I would say. Uh, we're just Recovery. healing ourselves <coughs> to pop ourselves off. That's good practice, just in case we need to go into the next mission. All of uh, this is a preparation and we definitely got that one here as prep as well <clears throat> finally Kitsu identifying target I tell you what we're taking the extra will points eliminated. also reduces his will points <clears throat> he's already at four out of ten a couple more kills and he will panic I see you. Interesting, that guy just runs into into the fire. Well, the fire is gone. But these guys <clears throat> are cleaning up the remainder. Just picking up some loot and in terms of getting ready already moving towards that evac zone slowly but surely and now it becomes more a case of evacuating all of the operatives and I would say what we're what we can do is get into a better position. Make sure that everybody is frenzied. And quite literally pick up all of the items that we elsewise would be leaving behind. Advancing. Can't dash. Trying to reposition. But what we can do is we can move a bit better into position. Slow me down, but it won't stop me. Going in. All right, Natalia moves up as well. Unfortunately, blocked by her own comrade. That's it. <laughs> I'm dead out here. Three people miss at the same time. Ready for action. Good. Overwatch, Overwatch, and we're overwatching here. And I think that's it. End of turn. Target missed. Showtime. All right, more enemies are coming. Little green moves up. Uh, misses. Very unfortunate. All set. 
We're retrieving the turret. I'm going. Everybody moves more towards the front line. <clears throat> And the idea here would be I'm on the move. to remove all of uh, the threats and then kind of get out of here. Hostile eliminated. Permanent. Uh, we don't have enough will points <clears throat> to do any fast shots. It's unfortunate. Moving up over here, Overwatch. here. I don't know if the turret can shoot without being operated. That would not yet kill the turret, unfortunately. So what we can do is one shot, a little bit of damage, that's good, and overwatch. All right, uh, in terms of the others, let's put a couple more overwatches in. Okay, the answer is it can definitely shoot, even without a technician. Protecting humanity. Okay, and we're in a bit of an awkward position. Trying to Where there are enemies respawning quite frequently, and we basically need to deal with them. That's a kill. down field medic and whilst we're at it <clears throat> here is the med kit Close to the exit, so can even take these like suboptimal shots. Five by five. Good. Jim moves over here. Getting the turret down. I can make a difference. Mm -hmm. 
Natalia moves into the open. Broken. Disabled the arm, which is already helping us quite a bit. Slight move into this direction. I think we can even move a little bit more. It's not a single hit. Unbelievable. Now yeah, we're continuing to move towards the exit zone. And end of turn. Well, there we go, that's the problem. More enemies are coming. You're gonna run. Better run, NJ. Let's show them what we can do. Okay, we can definitely get out of here. the best way of saying goodbye is <clears throat> to get out of um, line of sight of the snipers ish mm. potentially our Psy Priest will take another shot Okay, we could move all the way over there. Let's roll. This here is out of line of sight. Good, we can already go out. We could run out there in a single turn. Natalia runs out next turn. Providing Overwatch, Overwatch. Moving to coordinates. Good, we do have dash next turn. So that should uh, work out well. We have a couple of overwatches. We're likely going to take one nasty hit. Ready to fight. Everybody else should be fine. Unless, of course, our overwatches hit and really injure her, her, her arm. But no. Ah! Standing by. Do I have cover? Uh, don't evacuate yet. On the move. Not evacuating yet. Good, better because that way. We're not starting with uh, the low amount of hit points. The idea is that everybody in the next mission should have 
reason about a reasonable amount of hit points problem is unless we're getting <clears throat> a lot of resources for this tech resources our med kits should be I'm not sure completely about exhausted double time okay reasonably difficult mission specifically due to the respawns I mean you could camp the respawns and just kill them on respawn but since you're not getting any experience for killing them might as well just leave it be would have been interesting though like uh, they spawn from two sides and it's only one per round that spawns if you do have a berserker there he can quite literally walk up and just hit the guy on the head and kill them immediately so that could have been a strategy but the moment that you do have uh, that set up in place you already have cleared the map because it, you couldn't do that beforehand 50 skill points and yeah as i mentioned quite a bit of material that's missing um in terms of research we got the crystal crossbow uh which seems like one of these uh, weapons from the ancients and we got like what the scyther okay antarctica does have the living quarters in six hours so what we're going to do is explore that site and then put our team back there we're double checking what everybody is doing we're still trading here they need a break these guys need definitely need a break Legion Haven is under attack. Okay. We're immediately flying back, getting people and then flying there. Hopefully that will be in time. Um, new aircraft. Uh, anyway, wants to go to Born in the USA. And here's an idea. <clears throat> so... Maybe that was just in time. As we're having all of the guys here in Born in the USA. That's the new C team. No, E team. E as an echo. Bessert, Gaeron. The Doubter, Isabel, and Carlos, plus Goofy Goover, were in this anyway. So let's load them into Tiamat. That was originally our D team, the one where we experimented with alternative builds and a couple of other things. Okay, so the question is, <clears throat> whom else do we take into the actual missions. There are a couple of options here. All of them are viable. Good, so let's take a look. We got <coughs> Tiamat 5, 6, 7, Tiamat 7. <coughs> so, we do have two snipers, right? We got Ankit the Doubter <coughs> in the front line. We got Isabella as in the mid line. Carlos kind of midline as well and yeah so we definitely are missing a technician so it's number one a dedicated healer and a little bit more frontline would be helpful as well with that in mind what we're going to do is unstoppable Sam uh, is definitely going to join us level seven and 
coincidentally enough, we do have a level 7 um, heavy here, which to me says frontline. So we're going to take them on as well. We got one, two, three, four, five, six um, people left over, theoretically, with uh, Barbour and Polina. If I can ever manage to get these two over, you know what? I could actually. I could uh, spawn the <clears throat> last aircraft in Phoenix Point and then just simply fly them over to the United States. So these two um, are the last ones that are then helping the Echo team. But now we're with the Delta team and let's first and foremost equip our newcomers. So, do we have any... Well, we would have another recruit, but... Which, by the way, also would be a Berserker. You know what? One recruit. No, 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 wait. We're putting you into Born in the USA. Recruit. One further recruit is not a problem. Now, I'm not trying to be a hoarder or something, but if someone dies, <clears throat> having having a backup character absolutely would make sense. So mutagens are currently not available. So basically, quick level up here, by the way, 77 points. Damn it, I need to ha spend more time thinking about uh, what I want Natalia to be. And not quickly level it up in between. We'll do that prior to the next mission. So we de uh, let's stick with the plan here. We do have uh, the need for equipment. Armor in particular. She's a full-fledged um, technician who theoretically could take these mounts but they only mount on technician boots uh, on technician armor yeah that's unfortunate so for now all we can do is give her high um, high chances to hit and that's pretty much it. She doesn't even really have any particular weapon that she's uh, that she's uh, proficient with. So hmm, that's a bit of a problem. In the meantime, I'll give her something that she can use without breaking the bank here. We could give her more. Spider drones, which wouldn't be bad. We definitely want med kits on her. So, in terms of manufacturing, med kits unfortunately cost resources, and that's the problem. We're really low on tech. <clears throat> and these guys immediately go into a mission, so I can't even like just pretend. That she wouldn't, uh, that she wouldn't need this stuff. Independent handgun with a little bit more of ammunition and a grenade. I mean, is it great? No, but it is what we have currently. Can I demolish some of the stuff? Uh, it would be low tech. Let's grab one of them. Okay. And one of them. Thank you. 
Good, so two med kits, fair enough. Which really must be enough for her. There you go. Not the perfect equipment, I must admit. She's certainly not doing very uh, very well in the first mission, but that's okay. It is what it is. Yeah. Hmm. We need a proper armor f for them. <clears throat> and I'm wondering, we had team two, team two, and I'm wondering here if we can't just use proper assault armor. I mean, the idea is to be a tank, right? And 30 armor is quite convincing. <clears throat> How much would it cost to manufacture a heavy suit of armor? 37, I, that's great armor. Well, I suppose we're unfortunately stuck with not so great armor for now. In terms of equipment, uh, we're just taking the ones, uh, the one that we can actually use. Already got a med kit, so that's fine. Another grenade. That extra med kit. Could really go anywhere. I think it is best used on our support. Good. Not great, but we will get there. So Tiamat 7 is ready. And we're moving back. Crew of Frozen, uh, frozen Circuit uh, fully healed and rested which means we're doing that and still have nothing to trade that is so disheartening good personal and manticore one we need a lot of stamina and manticore three is the other one there we need uh, the weapons recharge. We really need tech. And the fact that we can't trade for any is a bit infuriating. Unfortunately, there isn't really an option to build uh, anything that continuously creates tech. The only thing that uh, we've built so far or can build so far are farms. So the rest really doesn't work out so well but if you look at the resource distribution it's not that we don't have enough resources it's just we can't trade for tech apparently that is really unfortunate research complete so we got crystal crossbow let's just double check is anything here giving you uh, giving us tech Hmm, nothing really. Advanced paralyzing weapons. Sounds good. Yeah, damn it. And we also don't have enough mutagens uh, to equip the last team because that would typically i don't want to build armor most of it can come from the mutagens so yeah Construction complete. 
Medical Bay is constructed in Europe. Well, that's good. How is this here? How is this looking? So we got Haven Info. Yeah, just started the attack. I think we're going to be there on time. Which means technically you can still move here in order to get us some more tech. Good. Personal and frozen circuit. Yes, 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 yes. All right, something is off. Uh, so we got Grell, Euler, Inappropriate Murphy, Dilly G, okay, all of them in Helios 6, cool. Where is Helios 5? Uh, you go back to Frozen Circuit, thank you. We don't need your services anymore. And now we do have eight people in there, cool. <clears throat> My memory serves me well. We had an alien structure that needed to be destroyed. Oh, fantastic. Finally. Ooh, so good. That solves a lot of problems. Let's just double check. Yes, please. Little green. Ammo reload. the reserve ammo hmm something's not working well here Okay, well, he's seldomly using more than one clip. All right, cool. So that should have given everybody their ammunition back. Which brings us to the main team. And I don't know if we had issues with the main team. that we needed okay
one, two. Oh, wow, we're again running low on... Um, tech resource. Unbelievable how fast 150 can just go away. Okay, so that one is fine. I think here we're good. Good, 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 good. Murphy unfortunately can't take the mounts. That's really unfortunate. Okay, we do have 24 left over, that's not bad. And it was much needed. Our operatives have discovered an unsettling site, a hill near the ruins of a burnt down haven. Eight New Jericho soldiers have been beheaded. Uh, their heads still wearing their helmets have been placed on pikes. It's impossible to know what happened here, but it can't be any good. <laughs> hey, free helmets. Um... There's no information about what the soldiers have been doing. How long until we got the living quarters? We already got them, which means we're now moving back so that <clears throat> the team can nicely relax. Crew of Mandicore 1 and 3, which is right over here, is finally rested. That's an important info. Where do we want to take you guys? Mandicore 1 to here. Mandicore 3 starts over here. And then we're doing a little bit of a trading journey because there is no current need. Oh, well, I wouldn't say that. Um, So both of uh, them, one with the south route, the other one with the north route, uh, flies over to the Antediluvian runes because that's what our next target is actually going to be. Good. Tiamat soldiers, uh, that's team number two, the better team. They need to um, refresh. Afterwards, we're going for the remaining sites. Actually, start with a uh, Skyther. That seems to be the most important mission at the at the beginning. Two for twelve. Yeah, but maybe not do that much. Good. That sounds like a plan. Finally, everybody got resources again. It seems there is a time when all of the havens restock their resources. When that time has come, like right now,
We can actually make a lot of money by just flying around. Ah, two for ten is not good enough. Not yet starting, there is a second. Yep, now our second team has arrived. So once we're done down here with our prime team, are there still runes somewhere? I know there is one pair of runes that we're currently taking with a third team. There's definitely a pair of runes here and one over here. So maybe the right call would be to actually um, use the Manticore 4, pick up all of uh, the uh, soldiers that we have historically picked up here and then move them over here to protect that region so that the prime team can go on the other side and clear out the other antediluvian runes. I'm not seeing a whole lot of new discoveries of runes. We have probes everywhere and as far as I'm concerned does not appear that there is that there is anything new. We got three runes, one that the third team will take care of, and the prime team really, if they were to fly over here, okay, well, it would be a long journey, but they can theoretically pull it off. So, yeah, might be... Might be not a, a bad idea to do that. We're removing that threat and over here, we just fly, pick up all of uh, that, load up uh, the soldiers currently born in the USA still has, <clears throat> still has that new team. So I think they are perfectly capable. They are perfectly capable of uh, actually being equipped and then being flown into battle. Yeah, I I think that uh, works well. And then they can. It's uh, it's only six people. One, two, three, four, five, six. I tell you what, maybe we're just... Hmm. I'm, I haven't figured out the final plan yet, to be entirely honest. Those six might be, uh, might be the team. I, so here's the deal. We need to... We need to have... The prime team needs to do the antediluvian ruins because it's just so much easier than uh, having a painful exercise. Plus... The Prime Team gets a lot of points for just executing mission after mission after mission. Which means, to a degree, uh, where the Prime Team on the Geoscape would have been most efficient is actually doing this down here. Because there were quite a few missions. They, The Prime Team was just as efficient and did the same amount of missions, just more, much faster in Australia. And then even defended uh, that whole segment here. So every mission gives five SP and we do have two guaranteed missions over here that are relatively hard and apparently there are also a couple of attacks happening on that side so I can see why the prime team on this side of the map would have a lot to do. The problem is this here is too much land mass to leave it with only one team. Uh, team number three, uh, the uh, Gamma team uh, currently covers like Europe and Africa, which is fine, but team number one covers the entirety of Asia and uh, down uh, here. And that is not fine uh, as and when we're actually 
uh, leaving that area because no one would be able to respond. So I need to shift resources over, let them fight uh, fight there, whilst the D team is still like covering South, um, uh, South America. With the Tiamat they are not fast enough to cover two different areas, it's, it's just not happening. So they can focus to stay here in South America for now. Um, maybe they're even strong enough for the Antediluvian runes, but I sort of doubt that. So really what we need to do is get the prime team over and uh, kill stuff. There isn't much happening from a <clears throat> from a pure uh, mission perspective. Yes, in diplomacy these three still hate each other and we can uh, kind of do sabotage missions. But is that really worth it? I, I think that would be net negative on our... Uh, favor scale. The only one where I could see us doing that is getting Sinaidran, the Sinaidran mission, which uh, would uh, sabotage the disciples of a new haven. Um, not even sure how do I zoom into that. Currently I can't. So, training center. Sabotage, Disciples of a New Training Center. Yeah, I don't know where that mission is, but that could be an option. Just doing those missions from, uh, from time to time, getting a little bit more experience that way and just keeping the ball rolling. I could try it and see what the impact is. If it is too negative, like let's say if it gives plus 10 here and minus 10 here, then it is net neutral and I'm okay with it. Uh, because with the hives and the defense missions, we would regain their favor to 100% relatively easy. Like this year, for instance, already um, resets our favor to 100% with both of the factions. Ah, there's another mission here. The Grey Spirit. Hmm. 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 I need to think what I do with the prime team. I want to give them the most uh, missions and the prime team could take these two missions here, but then I need to find a solution of how to do deal with the ended Luvian runes on the other side. And a li nice little side effect for the prime team to go into Born in the USA is that JP Porley and in in particular, uh, inappropriate Murphy would finally get their level ups. Like this year is an absolute uh, ridiculous situation to have him at not even level six or seven at the moment. So that's just completely unacceptable. And I'm having quite a few Phoenix points saved up. So the moment that he gets those levels, yeah, I will stick to the plan and get them to uh, get them to the United States and maybe let him rest a little bit uh, just to get the levels up um yeah okay cool anyways long uh long-winded um, thought process of how to apply the resources at, at the right uh, point on the map uh it it seems to me that this game requires you to micromanage everything quite perfectly in order to be successful but maybe i'm just not fully understanding it yet Thanks for watching, guys. If you understand anything about YouTube, you know how important the like button is, by the way. And I'm just uh, mentioning you could click it uh, if you enjoyed the content. Thank you and have a good one.